need now to ask which God? Because there are so many gods now being worshipped in this country and every country with the mobility of population. Different religions now live in the same street. You probably have a different God next door to you. And so the first question is not do you believe in God, but which God do you believe in? I think the majority in this country would probably say, well, the God the church believes in even if they don't go to church. But there still is a further question that we must ask, what kind of God do you think that God is? Because it really doesn't matter whether you believe in God or not. What does matter is what kind of God you do or don't believe in. As a chaplain in the Royal Air Force, I had to look after everyone whom the Roman Catholic and the Anglicans wouldn't look after. And so I got Methodist, Baptists, Salvation Army, Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims, and even atheists and agnostics. And so I was chaplain to atheists. That's a very interesting job to look after the soul of someone who's put on his arrival card, religion, atheist. And when I met an atheist, I used to say three things to him. First of all, I used to congratulate him on his faith. <laughs> because it takes far more faith to be an atheist than to be a Christian. To believe that all this universe came from nothing all by itself, that, that requires huge faith. To believe that someone put it here is much easier. And then secondly, I would tell him, now supposing you are killed, and we had many people killed, supposing you are killed while you're here, I will have to take your funeral. And I want to promise you that I will not mention God, I will not pray, I will not read from the Bible, and I won't sing a hymn. I will simply say, this man is dead and gone. And I made a very interesting discovery. <laughs> atheists don't mind living as atheists, but they're a bit scared of dying as one. <laughs> That's too much of a gamble. And my third question to them was, now sit down there and tell me what kind of God you don't believe in. And when it finished, I could always say, well, you've just made me an atheist too because I don't believe in that kind of God either. Never condemn an atheist until you find out what kind of God he was told to believe in. Because the real question is, what kind of God do we believe? What kind of God do we as Christians present to the world out there? Very basic questions, is he a kind God or a cruel God? Does he care about us or is he indifferent to us? What kind of God is he? Does he hate?